today we're going to machine on the CNC machine um, a three-dimensional picture of two 17th century tall ships in very rough seas. And the first thing we're going to do, uh, I've already uh, zeroed the machine in this corner and we've got a 12 millimeter three fluted um, end mill and we're going to do a roughing cut which is going to uh, it's going to machine in three different levels and um, just to take the majority of the material away before we put the three millimeter ball nose cutter in to do the finishing cut so we'll carry on there Okay, that's the result of the uh, 12 millimeter roughing cut. So it's uh, removed uh, the majority of the waste material. So now we've got the three millimeter ball nose cutter in there now. And um, I'll sh now fire it up and show you what the result of that is. Yeah, the tool is now going very very slowly because it's finding its way down to the beginning of the uh, material so it doesn't want to snap off the uh, the tool okay so it's just plunging into the there we go
Okay, I've just speeded the process up now to 24,000 RPM of the motor and um, it's now doing 80 millimeters per second. sent me emails uh, asking me where I get the programs uh, to actually have these 3D cabins. And well, if you really need to see um, right from the very beginning of uh, the videos that I put up, number one. Uh, but this is the program that I purchased uh, off the internet actually. This AppCam Express. I also have AppCam within these programs, and there are over 500 uh, three-dimensional reliefs that you can alter to your, your own needs. Uh, this is just one of them. Um, you'll also notice that I've started using uh, additional video equipment, such as this HD sports camera, and they're very good. And I hope you like uh, the special effects that uh, you can obtain by them.
So there's the finished article after I put some Delica stain on the foreground and um, completely vanished the whole thing and obviously taken off um, any furry bit. So um, thank you very much for watching and I hope you've uh, enjoyed this episode. So it's bye from me for now. Thank you.